Hey there, welcome back. So let's continue from where we have left. So we have already coded quite some code related to array list and here is the code from our previous lecture. All right, so this is cool. Now moving forward, we would be like adding a yet another method which will help us to modify content from our list. All right, so let's get started. In here, we will tap in void modify name and we will accept position comma the name or the new name all right so now we will pass in the position and the new name in order to set the content for a specific name so in here the code is pretty simple i will type in list names which is the name of the list dot set and to the set method there are two property first one is index so we will pass in index and second one is the element so where we will pass in the new name so this is cool all right so index is not the name in fact position is the name we are receiving so let me copy and paste position in here so this looks good to me and let me comment out the previous code which might confuse us all right so this is the previous code and in here first of all we will display the contents all right and then moving forward we will update a specific name or a specific position right so at position three we have puja so we will update that with some other name maybe so i will type in app dot modify name and i will pass in the position as three and the name would be ema all right so this is a good name though all right so let me execute the program here is the program i guess we are displaying the list twice so let me get rid of this particular code from here so first of all we are displaying the original list which is here and then we are modifying the list and we are replacing puja with ima right so we will again display the list let me copy this line of code and paste it in here so we are simply displaying the list of names once again using the display list method and now in place of puja we are seeing ima which is fantastic and this is how we can modify a value in a specific position now you might think that how we can search for a specific person and then replace the name right so there is in fact a way how we can do it so for doing it first of all we need to search for a specific name so in here i will type in void search and we will receive the name so string name all right so first of all we will search for the position and then using the position we can modify the content at the specific position all right so in here if i type in list names dot here there are multiple suggestions and uh, one of the suggestion would be like contains so in here we have this contains method now contains method will return us boolean value it will give us true or false right so it will either give us true if we find the content in the list or false if we don't find the content which is cool but we also want the index of the position so i suppose the method is index of right here we go and we will pass in the name all right so this will return the position so we need to return int entity so let's return int and let's return the value from call to this index of method and this should fix our issue so this is fantastic how easily we are able to search for a specific name in this list and we will get the position all right so now in here we will do one more thing let us get rid of this in order to reduce the confusion in fact this code is already available in our previous lecture so refer the project file from our previous lecture for this code let me get rid of the code in order to give you a better understanding so this looks better now firstly we are displaying the list then we have some code for removing by position removing by a string let us also get rid of these two methods as well so we are simply simplifying the code in order to give you a better understanding if i execute this this will simply display the list 
no rocket science in here we have the modify name method we have the search method so first of all let us search for a method all right so in here i will type in list position equals app dot search and we will search for puja maybe and then we will try to display the position in order to show you whether we are getting the position correctly or not so the output should be three which is perfect now for example we by mistake pass in puja and p in a lower case in that case we won't be able to search for an exact result in that case we will get minus one as a output definitely we can handle the situation accordingly and uh, everything seems to be good enough so in here let's now add in a f condition so i will type in f position is not equals to minus one in that case we will proceed further and uh, call in the modify name method let us also add in the else part first so in else part we will display invalid entry all right so now let's finally code in the if part so in here we will type in app dot modify name we will pass in position and we will pass in the new name which would be emma this seems to be good enough now if i execute the program then it will display invalid entry and if i fix the name puja as p in upper case then it will modify the name accordingly all right so this is cool and inside this if part we will also call in this display list method which will display us the updated list here we go so now ema is being listed as a part of the list so this is how we can modify the name as well now if you are little confused about this program and how this is working i suggest you to revisit these two videos of array list and array list part 2 and do practice practice makes a person perfect so practice is really important so do try to code this by yourself and the concept would be cleaner in your mind all right so i hope i have made myself clear thanks for watching and take care